Hi guys, welcome to this video about what you can do when your flash drive like an um, SD card or micro SD card says the disk is write protected. So I've already had this many times and it's really difficult sometimes to figure out what problem it is. So of course it can be a simple uh, problem like uh, the right protection of the SD card. The micro SD cards, like the small one, uh, can't click on that. So the, the thing here, the small small thing, the micro SD cards they don't have a write protection, like physical write protection, but the SD cards or the adapter for the the SD card adapter for the micro SD cards, they have this on the side, hope you can see that. So that's a switch. And if you push it to the front, like here, this direction should be right allowed. If, it pu if you push it to the back, it should be protected. So if you push it forward, I mean, let's say you have a micro SD card, you put it into the adapter, and on the adapter, you push this um, switch to the front and it still the system still comes up with this message so what can you do so if you like to go the full way with all possibilities regarding software which exists let's say on Microsoft Windows at least you can go to this page it's uh, how to recover I'll put down the link and yeah it has I think about 12 different possibilities how you can uh, yeah how you can fix that there's a SD format I don't know I, I don't think that it will really work if you have uh, a real problem like physical problem uh, AP, HP disk format uh, HDD level format and so on and so on there are really um, difficult things where uh, the disk part if you're using that, it's really difficult. I mean, not really difficult, but but it, it's it's risky. You can delete. I mean, you can destroy your whole Windows installation if you're picking the wrong disk or wrong uh yeah wrong disk to do that. So, and I don't know if it really works. I haven't tried this. So other people say you can just blow into the tray. So, as so you see this on this uh, sample picture, you have your USB connectors here, and here we see a sample of. Uh, yeah, it is difficult to see it uh, better. Yeah, here we have a standard um, SD card slot, and some people recommend blowing into that if you can take your laptop from where it is installed and yeah just blow with your mouth into that that can help uh, some used uh, pressure like uh, yeah so high high pressure to because they say it can be some dust or dirt accumulated inside and after that it can could work and I've, I found many cases where this really worked. I've tried the same thing and it didn't work for me, but there's a similar solution which worked for me. And so that's actually on the back side of the SD card or on the micro SD card. That's a trick which exists since quite a long time. So it seems it's not always this problem is not always related to this switch but it can be related to these pins so usually they don't cause a lot of problems but it could be uh, that they cause this problem when they um, are some kind of um, when they are some kind of oxidized they don't make contact support to the counterpart in the computer 
and so if you just blow very hard and very close with your mouse to these pins on the SD card adapter on the or on the SD card if you just have an SD card or and or uh, on the uh, micro SD card uh, if you're using micro SD card and an adapter I would suggest you doing it uh, with both the card and the adapter and yeah I've seen many cases where this worked this was a common problem like uh, some 10 years ago with Nintendo DS and, and such gaming con portable co uh, consoles where um, kids were taking in and out uh, a lot of these cards and they um, caused some problem and, and wh what they did uh, they just blow at these things. I don't know what happens if it really cleans them or if it just provides some kind of humidity and humid humidity can be used um, to make contact. I mean you know water uh, like uh, electricity can flow in water and if there's just a little bit of humidity or some whatever <laughs> when you blow at them mm -hmm. so it can really um, yeah solve the problem and yeah I've tried it again today and after going almost crazy putting back and forth this switch and never worked I blowed at both of these pins and it worked so yeah um, I can't guarantee that it's work in every case but it can be a solution I think it's a proven solution I just can't tell you why it works but sometimes it can work and it's definitely uh, worth a try before you install a new SD card reader or replace the card or whatever you do or go through all these 12 possible solutions uh, software solutions. I don't know if these solutions really work. I mean when when there's no contact, physical contact with the pin, so I guess uh, it, 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 it will not work anyway, whatever you do here. So yeah, unfortunately there is not an easy solution. Almost everybody has a different solution, but it's good, always good to know uh, about different possibilities and I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time